Okay, this video we're going to learn something different than what we have done last couple of videos. So we are going to learn percent increase and decrease. We are not looking for percentage. We are looking for percent increase, decrease. So we want to make sure we understand that this is the word is going to change the meaning. Okay, if they say find the percent, we wouldn't use this formula. Okay, if they say find the percentage, we just multiply by 100 and or move the decimal to the right. Okay. But if this is first an increase or decrease, then we have to take the difference of those two numbers and divide by the original number and times by 100. Then we add the symbol. Or plainly, we say new minus old over old times 100. That works always. But this is there is a little bit problem using this one. Okay. Sometimes you're going to end up getting negative number in your answer. So that signals you that your first is decreasing. So you know. You don't have to write negative in the answer you just write down maybe 25 percent decrease instead of negative 25 percent so you say 25 percent decrease okay let's get into this problem let's see how we can get this problem done okay so number one in january 2020 oil price was 59 dollars but in april 2020 this year i mean the price dropped to 19 dollars so what is the percent decrease okay so let's take a look here we can identify something also i want to check out we are looking for percent increase and decrease that is what it is important we know that this is what we have to follow if this word wasn't here we would do a different approach but since there is an increase and decrease well at least one word has to be there person decrease or person increase then we are going to use that technique is well the rule okay so before we apply the rule, we have to know which one is new. So I have this number and I got that number here, right? So clearly in 2020 January, so that was basically old. That was old. And April, that is new. You know, everyone can identify which one is, you know, if you read it carefully, it tells you which one is new, which one is old. Once you can identify or figure out, right? literally you can do every problem nicely okay so i think um some of you didn't like before but you after going through this video you will see oh that was not much easier okay so we're gonna do first an increase we do first an increase in is equal to new minus old well clearly what is our new new is 19 minus old is 59 over the old in this case is 59 times by 100 if you do so you know you can use a little bit calculator or you just do simple math is going to give you negative 40 this piece is going to give you 19 minus 59 is going to give you negative 40 over 59 times 100 and you do uh, you know uh, division and multiply and we have done so many videos i showed you how to do the long division long multiplication right and i'm going to use a little bit of smaller calculator here to show you okay to show you we can actually use this calculator also okay so let me show you the calculator okay in the meantime well if i do see the calculator is going to give you negative 67.8% now how do you write our answer we write our answer is like this 67.8% decrease yeah this is that was you know very um, sad on the oil market actually okay so that much percentage decreases actually okay clearly all right so guys um you, you check out the calculator and you see how can you do that okay all right let's take a look on the next one so let's take a look here by the way zarif received a 96 on this test so that's a 96 this test so that's going to be new and 91 his previous test that's going to be old so i'm writing old here new here okay so what percentage zarif increase or decrease so you know I actually put down this intentionally here decrease here let's see figure out what is happening here so 
percent decrease well i'm putting this down decrease equal to look what happened new minus old so new is 96 minus old is 91 over old which is 91 times 100 okay so if you do so right it's going to give you 5.5 percent now question is you have a positive number right so if it is positive we have to adjust it that wasn't correct we have to say that first and increase percent increase is equal to 5.5 percent or plainly is a 5.5 percent increase in CRES increase that's all okay so definitely you can adjust it maybe your question you know wasn't worded correctly but once you do the problem you clearly see what's going on okay let's take a look on the next problem here let's see I'll have two more problem here right okay last year Inam earned $51,000 this year he earned $66,000 what is the percent decrease again it shouldn't be decrease it should be increased because I clearly see there is a big fart here right so I would do this increase okay because everyone see it right so this is basically the old that's the new okay once we know the old and new guys we are ready to do this right so we can do percent increase equal to 66,000 over 51,000. Sorry, old one is, yeah, that's the old one, 51,000. And of course, we have to subtract 51,000 times 100. So if you do this math a little bit here, right? If you use your calculator, right? You just take the difference and you divide and then multiply. Remember, you do the order of operation, right? So it should give you 29.4%, okay? 29.4%. If any, any decimal rounded up, it should be approximate, okay? All right, so what do we write here? 24, 29.4% increase. That would be our answer. Okay, that would be our answer. Let's do the last one here, guys. So last one, ABC store bought a hand sanitizer for $1.25 before this outbreak happened, and they sell it for $19.99. What is the person increase okay so here you go we are going to actually look into see the new one so what is the new one new one is big one here actually that's the new and this is the smaller one that's the old one so we do the same thing okay we do the same thing we basically put down new which is 19.99 over old one is dollar 25 times well, we're going to multiply later before we actually first we should actually subtract the difference minus dollar 25 times 100 okay all right so we do this math right again it's the same way we basically just work it out and it should give you 14 points some stuff actually but you have to round up so actually let me show you here uh clearly let me show you okay Let's give me a second let me follow the calculator it should give you 14 point something and you round up to 15.0 percentage and of course it's going to be approximate okay it's going to be approximate so because you round it up to the nearest tenth okay so guys that's how well i think my calculator took me a long time and uh, i will you know leave you here thank you very much for watching the video have a good day